Our ethos is to work as flexibly as possible with each member to really understand what their priorities are, what they'd like to get out of membership, and look at how we can create a dedicated plan for each of them to make sure that they're hitting their objectives through membership with us. I'm Catherine, I'm the Chief Executive of the Australia UK Chamber of Commerce. We're the UK's leading membership body connecting Australian and British businesses and organisations with interests in both markets. Some of the key things that we offer are connecting into a network of potential business clients and partners, um, providing a platform for thought leadership and discussion of key market trends affecting our members and our network, and also giving a collective voice to our members into government to help influence some of the key issues that are affecting Australia UK business and trade. One of the things which we are really proud at the Chamber to be doing is to be consulting and engaging into both the British and Australian governments on the future shape of trade relations between Australia and the UK. We're seeing an increase in the volume of fast growth technology companies moving between the Australian and UK markets. I think the rapid um, growth of technology has meant that Small innovative companies are able to scale and have market impact very rapidly. And it's actually at that intersection between small startups in Australia and the UK, as well as the mature multinational companies, which have been at the heart of our membership for the last few years, where some of the most exciting economic activity is happening. One of the most exciting things which we're working on at the moment is engaging with our members on good corporate citizenship on their economic, social and environmental impact. So we're seeing our members increasingly look at what does it mean to be a good corporate citizen? Not just because engaging with those issues such as diversity and inclusion, sustainability and decarbonisation and social trust are the right things to do, but also because they're seeing that engaging with those issues have a material business benefit. And so I'm really excited to be working with a number of our members on a corporate social responsibility agenda, both in relation to their public commitments as well as um, how they're going to be internally planning across their operations and supply chain to deliver on that agenda. One of the things I love most about the job is being able to engage with such a broad diversity of members. So our members range across financial and professional services, mining, defence, food and beverage, technology, health, infrastructure, education, the list goes on. And I love really active members who come to myself and the team and really engage with us very proactively about what they're seeing in the market and equally engage with their peers to share market experiences, validate data and share strategic responses to what they're seeing in the market. I think Australian companies also bring a real nous and experience of dealing into Asia and Asia Pacific and I think that's an area where the UK really has a lot of um, uh, new territory to explore and discover and Australia's really trailblazed in that regard. Mm -hmm.